Hello, my fellow gamers. Welcome, welcome back to the game here. Welcome back to LA Noir. Last time, we did one of the achievements. I have no idea which one I did at this point for this video. To be completely honest with you, today we are doing the landmarks. Um. So currently, we're at the Four Street Viaduct. Apparently, once you have done a location, you unfortunately cannot do the hold B to view. What's cool is, right next to it, it's a 6th Street one. I'll see you guys in a second. Alright. So, like I said, right beside it, going up this gorgeous bridge. Is the Sixth Street Viaduct? I wish you could do more of these, and I'm making you mad that I've done a lot of these that we can't see. But that's cool. I'll see you guys in a second. So this giant food stocks building is actually one of the things we're here to see today. This is actually the National Biscuit Company. Seven stories and only cost two million dollars. That sounds amazing. I think it's still at the time of the year. I should admit there are actual descriptions for each one too so I should go over those as well I'll leave these on screens for a second all right I'll see you guys in the next one all right coming up I don't know how we've never seen this one this is the cold storage oh, okay what do you have to say for yourself Cold storage built in first ice production plant in 1895, feeding the growing city meant that people produced fresh and six-story Fourth Street warehouse was constructed more than a million cubic feet of freezer space. That's crazy. Alright, so we've got a two for here. We have the Union Station here. Very beautiful building. Um, description, design, 1939, $11 million to build Grand Town Marble Waiting Room. Huh, the last of the Great Railway Stations. And then right across the street from it is a pillar. It's this cute little plaza that we have seen before. The El Pueblo de Los Angeles, spot where the city of Los Angeles was founded. The site was chosen by missionary father, a silent part. We have 11 families. South in Pueblo in September 4, 1781. That sounds like a long time ago, because it is. Alright, this giant building we've been in several times throughout our cases. The Hall of Records. I don't think we really need to go over it again, but it is here. Uh, twin Gothic Towers with Hall of Records dome sky at 50 feet across, and the grass work protects a mountain cave overgrown plants. Actually, we were here actually during uh, the quarter moon kills. So, yay. Alright, hope I don't activate this crime accidentally. So, this building is the Bradbury building. We have been here before, but it's kind of basic actually. Or is it that thing? It's probably actually. No? It's just this thing. So it's this thing. Uh, Bradbury was commissioned by Louis L. Bradbury, the most remarkable for its interior scallop, Victorian court, and cage elevators, marble staircase, and ornate ironwork. Beautiful. Alright, our next building we've never even seen before, for once. Uh, is that it right here? The Main Street Terminal. There are two other collectibles in there, but that's not our problem right now. Um, Main Street Terminal says, also a specific electric building, the Huntington Building, or the simply 6th in Main, the rail and bus terminals. Completed in 1905, more than four decades, a nine-story structure guarded the largest west of the west the Mississippi. 
Alright, I think I'm getting close. Yeah, I'm getting close to the next one. I went down the wrong street. Oops. But. Well, there's the examiner. I gotta find a new car now. But there's the examiner. Sure, this car's taking a beating. The examiner building. Uh, but in 1914, Sergeant's headquarters, the Los Angeles Examiner, when in 1947, the Examiner was first to break the story of a young woman found dead. All oh, the Black Dahlia murders that were actually a real thing, shockingly enough. Alright, the RKO Theater we've actually been into. Hill Street Theater opened in March of 22 when a high level merger with the RKO Picture Company in 28. Renamed the RKO Theater, it seemed to name 3,000 for film and vaudeville and films. It's a pretty huge theater. That'd be kind of cool in my area. Well, I said screw, I'm gonna drive through it. Pershing Fountain, you remember this thing? This is where we started. Oh, the Mormon killers. unbelievable! Apparently, he's not happy with me. Uh, most architect Perkinson designed the sign 1910, adding the grand fountain supported by the concrete chairs. In 1918, the park was renamed for General John J. Pershing, who played a host of recruitment rallies throughout World War II. I have no idea who Pershing is. That's interesting, though. Alright, one that we saw during one of our street crimes, I'll go that way, is Angel's Flight, that staircase right there. It's a pretty massive staircase. I don't know why it's considered a landmark, to be honest with you. Uh, Incline Railway was built in 1901, under the world's shortest railroad, reading in Angel's Flight. Wait, it's a railroad? Oh, freak. Okay. Well, that makes me sad. I gotta get crushed by it. I mean, why would anybody walk up a railroad? I don't know. Alright, our next car, we've identified. been here a couple times before in the past. In the freaking building. The LA um, Public Library. Still being renovated. Took it long enough. Uh, drew an ancient Egyptian to create a temple-like central library. The building is roughly a mosaic pyramid and sculptured touch-bearing hand scans and apex is representing the scientific light of learning. Alright, we know how much we hate this one. The intolerance set. Screw this place. To the... What? The Great Wall of Babylon set was built in D.Y. Griffith's silent epic intolerance when 3,000 extra paraded past the altar and throne beneath the eight giant plastic elephants. The film was the most expensive ever produced at the time. Flopped. It kind of deserved it. Alright, we'll go to the other one in a second. Jeez, damn it! Alright, the Christ Church of Thorns. We know this place very well. We haven't played this part of the game. I don't know why you're even here. Uh, but... Oops. Uh, built in 1858, it was a Gothic Revival masterpiece, but fell in despair after a tree collapsed on the roof in the st storm of, went of September 39. A, a worker let it rise above the abandoned altar, the printing of crucifixion, a weeping virgin. Very good. Come on! All units in the vicinity in any Century Unit. 211 and shots fired. 410 South Florida. I got a real one. Well, crap. Sorry about that. But anyway, while we're here, um. Mayfield Hotel. Mayfair, that's right. Uh, has built 1926 architecture style and typical of the Roaring Twenties. A glass etching, brass fixtures, a green columns in the library. The Chandler lived the Mayfair before he became accessible as an author. 
Alright, this one I'm kind of shocked I didn't see before. Just go easy, Phelps. The Good Samaritan Hospital, right here? Um, we grabbed the ambulance in here, which really throws me off. But apparently I've never tagged this one. Officer needs help, 103 and Or have I? Yeah, I mean, there's the Buick. But there's no thing here. What? Please, Phelps, the siren. No, I'm not using the siren. What? Oh, they continue. There it is. Holy cow. It's a huge hospital. Oh, what's your description, though? Uh, Sister Mary Wood opened a care facility with just nine beds. Bourbon Nose, Los Angeles Hospital, the home for the invalids. The center was renamed to the Good Samaritan donated funding for a new property and larger quarters. Alright, so we're going to take a walk through a park. By walk, I mean we're going to drive to, to the MacArthur Park. Named after Douglas MacArthur. Cool. Okay. Uh, Westlake Park was established in 1863 with the I deem a beautiful park in this democratic space that would be available to all people from all walks of life. On May 7th, 1942, the park was named after Douglas MacArthur. Huh. Actually, our next one, there goes the drone again, is actually just right here. It's against the rules to drive like this without a siren. Sorry. Park Plaza, we actually haven't seen this place yet. What you got for me? Uh, built in 1925, architect Claude Beelman designed the park plaza as a lodge for the benevolent, protective order of the elves. Passage for scripture card above the entrance William sculpted for angels to look down from his fa facade. Alright, so the next two places we've seen before. The L.A. Art Museum. I love this building, though. This building is gorgeous. Uh, hosted racing and gambling in 1909 when concerned students had it recreated the cultural center. The museum kept fine art while the Rose Garden hid wonders such as the sphere within a sphere, celestial model, or the armor filler sphere. I hope you all have enjoyed this game as much as I have. I know you guys haven't seen my rant on it or my long tirade of words, but. Oh, come on! The mailbox jumped at me, man. We're actually just gonna park right here. I haven't been out and didn't look at these things in a while, so. Where's the back one? You wear the tar pits. I mean, they wear the tar outfit. I'm not getting very close to it. But I just realized I paused at the wrong time. Um, the tar pits uh, were wrote Los Alcanos de Dabre in 1769. By 1901, archaeologist specimens were emerging, including a skeleton of a human female. Trauma to her skull suggests she may have been the first LA's first recorded homicide. Phelps would have solved it. Confirmed. Alright, we're pretty close to the next one already. It's one that I haven't seen yet. If you haven't figured it out yet, we're going east to west. I don't know what direction I can go out. If you know, it's just been completely random, but. This oddly shaped building is our next target, I believe. The Bullets wa wa Wilshire? Oh, uh, let's see what we got here. They designed it as an Art Deco monument to house this upmarket department store. From the 441 floor towers paneled in green tin and copper, and notable customers included Garble and Gable. And John Wayne. Cool. Alright, so this one's gonna be fun. We're now in Hollywood. I just fast traveled to Hollywood because. Help! Where am I waiting? So, literally, we're gonna do like four, five, six back to back to back to back here. So, let's go for the ride. This tall building. Okay, it's gonna be just big in general. Is the Hotel Roosevelt, which we know Hotel Roosevelt. I believe this is where, um, holy cow, Elsa was staying. 
Uh, built in 1927, cost 2.5 million. The Blossom River hosts the first ever Academy Awards ceremony. In 29, where Wings and Snout about Fire Points in World War I won the inaugural award for Best Picture. And literally right beside it, this is car getting in the way. Heck, you're gonna kill us! Nice little theater here. Um, it's all a partnership between showman Sid Goldman and backer C.E. Tolman. Goldman's Chinese Theater open. Uh, the King of Kings has been hosting Dallas Cinemas ever since. I mean, that's cool. That thing's still around. Calling all cars. Citizen reports. Officer needs help. Shots fired. Officer down. 6th Street and Lindley Place. 6th Street and Lindley they Place. Unit to handle. Code 3. Identify. What? The Max Factory Building. I love the name. Oh, it's that building. Okay. So close to my name. Um, acquired this building in 1928 and renovated the help of Tex S. Charles Lee. Remodeled the studio includes four special color coordinated makeup rooms, one of three for, for blondes, redheaded brunettes, and brownettes? I have a feeling that's supposed to mean something else, and I'm not happy about it. Alright, we have two more in Hollywood. Well, we get to the other these. Alright, uh, my process is let's go ahead and grab the one I have done. Remember the last two that I haven't done with together? Which we're going to talk about the crossroads of the wind next. Which is that thing. I think it's a travel agency. Uh, Crawford Widow of Murder Underworld Boss. <laughs> Okay, founded the, the lavish outdoor shopping mall in 36. Designed to look like an ocean liner and a 30 foot tower draped with a revolving world globe. Well, well we're almost there. We're almost there. We're done. Alright, so apparently I have seen this one, unfortunately. Which is this building right here. The Monsters Front Grill. We've actually been in here several times. I don't know why I think we have. Uh, they're frequented by Hollywood stars, but known as the haunt of Hollywood screamers. Raymond Chandler spent his time at the bar. Does hero Philip Manway extra big sheep? All right, the last one today's winner. I gotta find it on here. Give me a second. About right here. Let me place. Unit to handle code three identified. Which really threw me off. What it. I do like the landmarks. We didn't see a lot of them, unfortunately. I wish it was one of those we hold B to collect them so we can all look at them together. But it is what it is. It's not like the next two things we have to do, which is the last two collectibles we're going to cover. Alright. The brown dirt. Wait a minute. I missed one. How did I miss one? Uh, Brother of Wilshire Boulevard was opened by Robert Cobb, Herbert Slammer, and there are many theories about the building's appearance, including someone telling if you knew anything about food, you can sell it out of a hat. Hold on a second. Okay, so, if you don't know, if you, you can use the Rockstar social gaming app to help you figure out what you've missed and where things are. And, I'm kind of irritated because I, I didn't realize this one even existed on the map, and it already says I've seen it, which... It's not true because I'm missing one. It's not really bad. So, the map helps. I use it a lot for doing my uh, stats for. Uh, I hate something. Help not. Um. Da 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 da. All units in the vicinity in any central unit. A 211 and shots fired. Huh. I didn't realize they changed voices for that. Unit that can handle code 3 identify. So the last one we actually need to do is not the Brown Derby, but... Can I get the Morgan Road? Can that be? Is that it? Oh, 
Oh, it's the, okay, it is that building. You know, putting the siren on might remove the element of surprise from your hit and run. Uh, I don't like that one. This church? The only thing I love that makes sense is this church. Or is it up there? I got a feeling it's up there. Alright, it took a couple seconds of me running. Because I'm running for some reason instead of driving my vehicle that I need the miles on. Blue line. That's what it's called. I don't... We've never came up here. There's no reason to come up here. So, I'm a bit... Confused? I'm not even close to it. Alright, to be honest with you, I'm just completely baffled what's going on. Because I like. My map says it's the church that I'm using as my god here. But. Um. The only thing I can think of is up this little road pass. Wait a minute. It is, oh. What's the one thing I've completely missed? Which is, I forget if we touched on it briefly. I know what I'm missing. I'm missing the freaking Hollywood sign. Right. But, can I even get there? Review. This is even dumber than I thought it was going to be. So, the reason why I say this is dumb is what did I just say? The blue line. There is no blue line. I don't know why this map is going to be off so bad that I can't find a blue that doesn't exist. The one that I missed was on the east side, which I'm sorry for doing everything out of order like I normally do. But, you have no reason to come here. Any of the missions. We're going to Chinatown finally. I, I didn't even realize there was even a Chinatown in this game. But that makes sense. Like. Seriously? What the freak? Alright, so I hope you guys enjoyed my frustration. Next time on LA Noir, we're getting achievements. I have what's left for me recording at this point. We're at 86%. I still need to do the film reels and the records for 100%. That also include needs to be involved the uh, Bad Pursuit challenges. I have no idea what those are. We're going to find out together. So guys, have a good one. I'll see you in the next one.